everyone i'm sonam sandhu from pt made easy and in this session we are going to focus on five secret tips which are working in 24 so i know you must be thinking what secret is it so basically these are the tips which have been used by many learners out there and these are the tips which have proven effective so if you want to score 75 plus in your pt exam and that too in your very first attempt so you should watch this video until the end because i'm pretty sure out of these five tips one or two of the tips are going to be something new for you or maybe all five if you are a beginner so please watch it carefully until the end and i'm pretty sure you are going to get your desired scores be it 75 or 80. now what exactly happens? First of all, we are going to look at PT speaking describe image. So basically, a describe image is the question in which I will not recommend you to spend a lot of time. I'll simply suggest you to focus on using the template. Simply cram the template, memorize the template and use it because you do not get a lot of time for preparation and you do not even get a lot of time for speaking it up. So basically you get 40 seconds to speak it up and you just get 25 seconds to prepare it. And in the 25 second span, you have to look at the image, you have to prepare the script, you have to decide what you are going to say and then you have to speak it up properly in 40 seconds timer so i would suggest you to not spend a lot of time on this particular question type and rather memorize the template now even if you do not feel like memorizing all the four templates you can simply go for this particular template and copy the same with some changes in the other questions as well so in the describe image part we have a process chart we have flow chart as well we have some random image we have bar chart or line graph or we have a diagram it can be any of these okay we can also get a pie chart or a tabular chart so you simply need to tell the name of the chart first for example the given process chart gives the information about what it is giving the information about downloading music okay so about downloading music from tesco extra so tesco extra how are you going to download music from tesco extra this is what it is telling it has multiple steps including purchasing and downloading so if you look at all the steps it is clearly a process chart and if you look at all the steps we have searched we have purchased we have download and we have play so out of these four we are going to simply write two of the steps so it has multiple steps including purchasing and downloading so basically you have to speak it up now what happens you are going to use the fixed template which is in black color and you're going to simply fill it up with these okay so downloading music from tesco extra okay it has multiple steps including purchasing and downloading in the initial stage we can see that the desired music is being searched by the user so this is being done in the initial step what is it, what is being done so the desired music okay is being searched by the users in the second step it can be noticed that the chosen music is purchased so in the second step what is happening so the chosen music is purchased so firstly you were searching for a music you found it then the chosen music is being purchased so when it comes to the process chart write everything in the passive voice and if you do not know how to do that for that also i'll create a sample video and do let me know in the comment section if you want a video on active and passive voice i'll surely create a video on the same topic that is going to benefit you a lot not only in this it will benefit you in the essay writing part as well and even uh, in the summarize written text part so please uh, let me know in the comment section okay now in the second step it can be noticed that chosen music is purchased in the following stage as in the next step the same music is being downloaded in the last step, the song is played and enjoyed by the customers. So in the last step, what is happening? The song is played and enjoyed by the customers. Overall, this is a very easy process chart okay or this is a very easy this is a very easy process and every step is necessary to complete this process so in 40 seconds you will not be able to speak anything more than this now what happens when you are going to speak it up you might miss one or two sentences in between so make sure that you keep looking at the image and you do not forget any uh, random any particular 
step in between so just simply follow the template the given process chart this the same template only but if you're facing problem in questions like such i'm going to share the link of pt speaking templates above you may simply go and check out that that will help you guys a lot now before we proceed further now what i was thinking i want to help you all and that too by giving you free pt study material as well as my most important tips so now for that we have created this whatsapp group i would like you all to be a part of that whatsapp group and i'm going to share the link in the description simply take out the link from the description and join our whatsapp group if you want to receive free study material related to pt and not only free study material in between i am going to give you some homework as well i'll ask you to do one thing or the other i'll give you some study tips i'll give you time table to prepare for the pt exam trust me clearing the pt exam in 30 days is possible it is definitely possible it is all about using the right strategies and the right person and that's what i say in every single video of mine so please follow every tip religiously and start writing effectively if you face problem anywhere you simply contact us for the same the numbers are given below now talking about the tip number 2 we have just discussed the tip for describe image simply copy the template don't spend too much time that's what i always tell you okay now coming to the tip number 2 and that is related to reorder paragraphs okay So now the second tip is related to reorder paragraphs. I know many of you get confused when it comes to reorder paragraphs, but trust me, it is not a high scoring task. And for this particular task, you are going to get maximum of six to seven marks. So there is no point on giving too much or putting in so too much efforts for this particular task. Rather, spend only one minute and. 20 seconds for a question like such now what you are going to do the first step is to look at the sentences simply look at all the four sentences one by one now after this find an introductory sentence the sentence which is introducing something okay for example that has been the recipe of private equity groups during the past 200 years now it clearly tells that it is the concluding sentence so that has been the recipe for private equity groups during the past 200 years so that means they have already told the recipe now they are just referring back to the same they are just telling you they are just concluding that has been the recipe for private equity groups during the past 200 years so what exactly you are going to do i am going to use the pointer here i'll use some other color okay now this is what this is the concluding sentence okay so we need to find the introductory sentence we need to find the concluding sentence and then we are going to find out the sentences in between and trust me it is not going to take more than 1 minute 20 seconds if you practice it on a regular basis so now next add some generous helpings of that a few spoonfuls of spoonfuls of management incentives and trim all the fat okay leave to cook for 5 years and you have the feast of profits okay so now what happens it clearly shows that this is the second one and this is referring back to this leave to cook for this now they have told the recipe kind of a recipe now they are saying do it. now this is the next step of the recipe so we can r1 r2 now take an underperforming company so now here what are this doing this is the introductory sentence here they are referring to the in, uh, company okay take an underperforming company okay now add some generous helpings of debt a few spoonfuls of management incentives and trim all the fat leave to cook for now when they have told you something related to the same underperforming company you have taken now do all these steps b that is the second one so first second okay then see leave to cook for 5 years and you have a feast of profits okay now and the fourth one that has been the recipe of private equity groups during the past 200 years so trust me 
please do not spend a lot of time on this particular question type whenever you are doing it at home when you are, whenever you are practicing do not spend more than 1 minute and 20 seconds on this question because it is not going to give you a lot of scores it is going to give you maximum 6 to 7 scores or 6 to 7 marks so there is no point putting in so much efforts for this question so this was my tip number two. Now coming to tip number three. And tip number three is related to write from dictation. Now the tip number three is related to write from dictation. So now here what exactly happens when whenever we do write from dictation. We get confused in some words. We get confused in the sequence of the words used. So it's not about using the particular words or it's not about using the particular sequence. If you get confused, you can add some extra words. Then the most important thing here is not to commit any spelling mistake. So please take care of the spellings. Do not commit any spelling mistake and rather focus mainly on using all the words. You can even add the same words again. I'll tell you how. You can add some two different forms of verbs if you were confused which form was used. For example, they use the form learn and they also use learned. Okay, but you got confused. They use learned, but you do not know whether they use learned or learn. Now you can write both of these. I'll tell you how. So we are going to play the same audio again. The biology now, department is dedicated to research activities. So, they clearly mentioned the biology department is dedicated to research activities. Now, I heard it correctly, okay? But if you were not able to, so you can simply write biology department. But you were also confused, confused whether it was department or departments. So, departments. You did not know whether they use the or a. So, you can in the beginning use a uh, as well as the. Okay. So, this in this manner you can do it. So, the biology department. Okay. But obviously here we have this Grammarly. You are not going to have Grammarly. But we know that they clearly mentioned the biology department refers back to, uh, is dedicated to research activities. So I told you in the beginning, the, the same was the sentence. But when I was uh, writing it down, I also got confused. So simply whenever you listen to the sentence, write it down directly on the screen. Do not wait. Okay, and do not waste your time in thinking about what exactly they mentioned. So, that's what you need to do. The biology department is dedicated to research activities. Now, for example, you were not able to understand whether they use dedicated or designated. So, you can write. Now, you were not sure whether they use department or departments. You can write both is and are. Okay. Is dedicated to. Instead of dedicated, you thought it was designated. So, you can write designated as well. to research activities. So, the biology department is dedicated to research activities. Now, what happens? Once you have written everything, you have written all of it, you will know that which one is correct or wrong. Now, you start eliminating the odd ones. Our biology department, the biology department, because they are talking about a specific department which is dedicated to research activities. So it will be the something proper noun, okay, something uh, which is a special one, a particular one. It is not a random biology department, it is the biology department which is dedicated to research activities. So we uh, got to know that, for example, it was department only, okay. If you are able to recall it. So simply write is remove R because it is biology department, only one department. So we are going to write is is dedicated to or designated to. This you are not sure of, you can write both of these two research activities. So you can write like this. If you're not sure of a particular word, you can use two words. Okay. Now here you have used dedicated and designated. Don't worry about it. But the correct answer is the biology department is dedicated to research activities. Now, don't be confused when it comes to all this. Simply write it down. Focus on the content. Focus on the spellings. Okay. Do not use any wrong spelling. And if you get confused in spellings, so please prepare the vocabulary notebook.
notebook so i'm also going to share a video on the same and uh, that will help you a lot in improving your vocabulary as well as spellings i have also created one for the same you are going to get that soon okay now this is all about rights from dictation it is not about the extra number of words it is about the correct spelling and the correct content if even if you have added some more words it's okay there is no problem it's okay but it's not like this the number of words are 7 and you have added 14 so that's not the point it's only about adding one or two words and still i would recommend the more you practice the better your understanding of this will be the more you practice the more the marks you will get for this particular uh, thing okay the more the chances of correct answers as well so please take care of this thing now proceeding further to the fourth tip now talking about the fourth tip and the fourth tip is collocations are important if you do not know what collocations are you are going to stuck somewhere or the other you will face problem in one part or the other so please focus on collocations now what are collocations try to understand collocations are basically the words which are often used together for example we'll use some adverb with verb okay so collocation i'll also give you an example based on the basis of this now if you look at this what is collocation when it comes to if there is a helping verb so we'll get a verb afterwards for example they have used was so we'll use a verb after was okay beat she was for example mumbling or it was taken so we'll get a verb afterwards so take care of this okay now before a verb there will be an adverb okay so for example the verb has been used so you are going to get adverb before the verb now if a verb has been used you are going to use a noun after verb she was doing her work it was taken by her she was mumbling okay softly up here we can also get adverb afterwards so that we need to see on the basis of the sentence and i'll tell you how so for example we have a noun so we can get an adjective also before a noun that totally depends on the demand of the sentence okay so for articles we are go going to use a okay for singular thing if we have any singular thing we'll either use a or an please take care of this if the word is starting with a vowel sound we'll use an and we are going to use the only when we have something proper some proper noun or something important okay now let us proceed further and let us look at one of the questions so on the basis of this question i'm going to explain you what collocations are and why collocations are important now let's look at this one for example we have this fifth one okay researchers already know that spending long periods of time in a zero gravity now we have all the options here we got to know that they are talking about zero gravity zero gravity is what it is an adjective here okay it has been used as an adjective adjective phrase again it is an adjective phrase so researchers already know that spending long periods of time in a zero gravity dash such as that inside the international space so zero gravity is an adjective what comes after adjective i told you in the beginning that after adjective we get a noun so zero gravity what now we need to find a noun okay space is a noun zero gravity space capped is not a noun restricted is not a noun spending is not a noun environment okay so either environment or space so let us read it further the researchers already know that spending long periods of time in zero gravity dash such as that inside the international space station okay so they have already talked about international space station so zero gravity environment okay results in loss of bone density and dash to body's muscle 
So what happens? It results in loss of bone density and dash to body's muscles. Loss of bone density ka aur kya hota hai? body muscle ko. Results in dash and damage to body muscles. Okay. We need something here now. Loss. We have loss here. Loss to bone of bone density. So it is a noun here. We will also get a noun here. Dash to body's muscles. Kuch cheese ho rahi hai. Something is happening to the body muscles. So some noun will come. So we have space and damage here. So we are going to use damage. And damage to space to body muscles cannot be the answer. It is not making any sense. So damage will be the answer. Damage to the body's muscles. That's partly why stays abroad. Okay? That's partly why stays abroad. The ISS are dash at six months. Okay, that's partly why. The ISS are dash at six months. Now ISS are what? Are helping work. What comes after helping work? I have clearly mentioned in the beginning. Okay. After helping verb, you are going to get a verb. So, please take care of this thing. This is very important thing. Helping verb. After helping verb comes verb. After adverb comes verb. After verb comes now. After adjective comes. Now, that's partly why stays. Okay, abroad the ISSR. Do log abroad rehte hai, the ISSR dash at six month cap. Matlab ki unhe baptis bula liya jata hai, unhe roast diya jata hai, thikhe? cap. Only for six months they can stay there. And now a number of NASA astronauts are reporting that their 2020 vision faded after dash time in space. Okay, after time in space. After what? After spending time in space. Time is a noun. Before noun verb will come after spending time in space. Okay. So you have to do it like such. Please try to guess the word for. And I have already told you the collocation. This is the collocation combination. After helping verb, some verb will come. After adverb, some verb will come. After verb, some noun will come. After adjective, some noun will come. So you just need to take care of these four things. And when you are doing it, please read it carefully. And these are the answers, environment, damage, cap, spending. Now, you must be thinking, ma'am, you must have done this before. That's why you knew. But no, guys, it is about the collocations we are going to take care of. It is about the word form. If you know which word form is going to come into the blank, you will get to know the correct answer. And once you are doing it, you just read it again. After filling in the correct option, read it again to know whether it makes sense or not. Okay. So, this is what you have to do. So, this was the fourth tip here. Okay. Now, proceeding further to the last one and the fifth tip. And that is like using grammar for listening module. Now, I always say you should use grammar for listening module as well. Now, whenever you do fill in the blanks of listening module, what happens? You get confused. You do not know which particular verb form will be used. Okay. So, there I will suggest you to use the grammar rules and I will tell you how. For example, let us take this. Almost everyone has heard of the London Stock Exchange, but relatively few know anything about the London Metal and Commodity Exchanges. Yet these markets have a greater influence on world economies because they set global prices for some of the essential raw materials for industry and food manufacture. The LME provides three basic services to the world's non-ferrous metal trade. First, it is a market where large or small quantities of metal of a guaranteed minimum standard can be bought and sold on specific trading days. Second, it acts as a barometer of world metal prices. And third, it is a hedging medium, that is, it can help traders get some protection from price fluctuations that occur for economic, political or financial reasons. Now, I was able to hear it correctly and I did all the questions. Okay, I missed one. Yeah. So, but what happens when you're going to do it, you would not know what word form is going to come. So, it's better if you judge the word form before and that you have to do very quickly. Almost everyone has heard of the London Stock Exchange, but dash few. 
So what is few here? Few is an adjective, okay? As a determiner, it has been used. But very few or relatively few. So they said relatively few. I knew something else is going to come. Some adverb is going to come. So relatively few. Know anything about the London Metal and Commodity Exchanges. Yet these markets have a greater dash. Now greater is what? Greater is used as an adjective. So we'll get a noun here. Greater influence on world economies. Because this said global prices for some of the essential raw materials for industry and food dash. Now, what is going to come here? Industry and food. Raw materials for industry and food dash. Some noun is going to come here. Let us look at the answer and we'll get to know. Okay, yeah. So, what did they use? Some food manufacture. Okay, so food manufacture. So, they clearly mentioned a noun. The LME provides three basic services to world's non-ferrous metal plates. First, it is a market where large or small. Now, they are clearly mentioned adjective. Okay, large or small. Now, what will come? Some noun will come. Quantities of metal. Noun. And third, it is a hedging medium. That is, it can help traders get some protection from price fluctuations that occur for economic Political. Now we know they have already used two adjectives. Economic, political. Now what will come? Or financial reasons. Okay. So some adjective is going to come only here. Now this is the way you are going to do listening fill in the blanks as well. So these were the five secret tips of 2024. And if you do not use these tips, you will not be able to score well. So please focus on these five tips and I'm pretty sure you will get your desired scores. So these are the five working tips of 2024. So basically, these are not just the tips which can be used for 2024. These actually were used in 2023 as well. So these are the universal tips which help all the learners and which has helped many learners. So until today for scoring. 80 plus marks. So I would suggest you all to follow these things religiously and I'm pretty sure you'll get your desired scores. So apart from this, if you need any further assistance in reading or in writing, even in speaking practice, you can simply contact us on the numbers given below. And if you want me to create a video on some other topic, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you again in the next video of mine. Bye-bye until then and subscribe.